Lydia. If you're new around here, hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia, I create travel and lifestyle videos. If you're not new, get in the back, you already know what time it is. So today is, today's an adulting day. Today's a super adulting day. So my boo's coming over later on because today we have a future planning day. So what is a future planning day? Future planning day is a time where uh, my boyfriend and I sit together and basically look at all of our goals. What are the goals that we have for ourselves individually and what goals do we have together as a couple? So we did this last year and we'll do it again this year, revising our goals and making new ones and seeing kind of where we are with what we made last year. Last year I shared this in fact on my Instagram and loads of you guys were so interested in this chart. This is the chart that we made um, and the chart has different columns so all the columns are all the areas we want to work on individually and also as a couple our goals are grouped into three charts 10 year goals five year goals and one year goal and within that it's also then further broken down into different categories so for example career financial education family artist um, artistic attitude physical pleasure and public service so these are all the things that we want to target individually and also as a couple so he's gonna come around later on and we're gonna sit and it's kind of like an all-day thing so that's what we're doing today super exciting but also very adulting um and to be honest i think this is something that's important for you to do even if you don't have a, a boo thing or a significant other half do this for yourself you need to see where you want to see yourself in the next five ten years okay i feel like that's the best way you can plan your life but anyways you guys know and let me not let me not start talking because if i start talking about planning life <laughs> before all of that serious adulting guys i need a moment i want to take a moment and give a big shout out to my sponsors of the video who are phillips thank you phillips and guys listen if you are a coffee lover <laughs> I got you. This is Philips's latest coffee machine in their coffee range. It is the 5,400 coffee machine and it is perfect for all coffee lovers. Especially if you're looking for a more high quality experience at home with your coffee, this is it. This is what you need. Guys, I'm literally not messing about. Using this machine makes me feel like a barista in my house because you can make up to 12 different drinks using this at home. I'll be sitting here like, what's my order? Should I spell my name wrong? <laughs> That's where I'm at. <laughs> Right, let me show you how I use this machine because it is literally wonderful. So at the top here, you can see all of the drinks that you can make. You can make an espresso, coffee, Americano, cappuccino, la latte macchiato. Imagine making a latte macchiato in your house. It's also super easy to clean. You can literally hand wash it or put it in the dishwasher. You can put this, which is the drip tray. You can put this in the dishwasher and you can also put the coffee ground container in the dishwasher too. Another really cool feature are the user profiles and you can store up to four different customized coffee profiles on this, meaning that it's super easy for you to make a coffee that you already love exactly how you love it. For example, living in this house, there's two of us, my sister and I, I love my coffee a lot stronger than she likes hers. So we can save our own individual profiles here. So when I come down, it's a tap, tap, tap. I know what's for me, she knows what's for her and it's always perfect each and every time. Besides that, the machine also has an aroma extract system, which makes your coffee just taste so much better. Cappuccino, 
every single time. Guys, I'm gonna leave all of the details for Philips Coffee in the description box. Open it up, check it out, and try yourself the new Philips Coffee machine. For now, I've got loads of work to do. Mm, mm. Delicious though. Guys, wait, let me show you this. This is my coaster. Picked these up from uh, TK Maxx, I believe. I love that place. It literally has all the best things. This is like a pink Himalayan salt sand um, coaster. I need a moment. I just need to take a moment for myself, sit, think, and plan. Especially before my boo comes around later on. I want to be organized. I don't want to be like spending the time that we're here organizing myself. I want to be ready for when he gets here. I'm going to first look at my previous sheets from last year and see kind of where I'm at. And that's really what I'm going to do. Just take a moment, chill, think about what it is that I want for myself for the future and also see what I said I was going to do and see where I am according to that last year, you know? This this is going to go right. I need, think I need another one. I think I need another one already. We need to keep the energy up, okay? Let's go. Good morning guys, good morning. So I'm sure you guys have probably noticed that we had a slight detour. Remember yesterday we're meant to be starting on the future planning, right? <laughs> guys, you also saw my eyebrows. My eyebrows have been a mess, a mess for the longest time because I don't have my car. Um, but I basically had a call from Nats, Nats Lean, who's my eyebrow tech. Guys, I'm gonna link her below, the best eyebrow tech in London. Look at these brows, look at the way they make sense. There's like nothing on them right now. This is literally how they came out. But um, I got a call basically from her saying that she had an availability, like a last minute availability, and I could not pass it because I can't picture going into another week looking like a, a werewolf. Like, so um, went and got my eyebrows done. So today is our future planning day. Boo's downstairs making breakfast, and I don't know. I just need to get it. I just need to get into it. You know when you need to get into the game before you do it? Um, otherwise, I'm feeling so good. Like, look at my brows. She did such an amazing job. Nat does an amazing job each and every single time. She understood the assignment. I always ask her to please just keep them as fluffy as possible. I don't like thin brows, personally. I like them nice and fluffy. I can't believe I was really just walking around looking like a mare before. Like, wow. What was really cool, when I was at Nat's Lean Place, she was saying that a girl came all the way from New York to get her brows done. What? Well, she was visiting London, and then she said, you know what, we got seeing as I'm here for a few days, I have to book this recommendation by Lydia. That's amazing. If you guys ever come from a different place, um, in fact, if you go to any of the recommendations that I recommend, please let me know. Let me know what your experience was, and let me know, because my girls always let me know how you guys are. <laughs> I know all about the rude ones, but there's actually not that many rude ones because all around here, nice girls only, okay? We don't do any of that rude stuff for the sake of it. Don't do it. Let me go and see what we made for breakfast and then let's get started again with this future planning day. I fell asleep last night without finishing my margarita, so I might even have a margarita for breakfast. But then there's also future planning to do, so maybe we'll do margarita for breakfast. Okay, I get it. still rubbing <laughs> quickly to check in to let you guys know so i'm gonna go and try the chocolate the keto chocolate swiss roll recipe again last time that was a disaster basically i have all the stuff for the um to make the keto chocolate cake but i didn't have any of the simple ingredients like simple things i didn't have but all the complicated stuff i already ordered go and watch the vlog if you haven't watched the vlog if you have no idea what i'm talking about but oh, these ribs, they are really ribbing. 
I am out of breath. Anyway, we're going to the supermarket to go and pick up the bits that I need because today I am going to bake that Swiss roll. If that's the only thing I do today, that's what I'm gonna do. But um, yeah, also got to the point in the season where I feel like I need to do a clothes shop. I need to do like a warm clothes shop because everything that I have is summer. All my clothes, like all my clothes, I open my wardrobe and I'm seeing just colorful things like what's going on. We need to put some wool in there. Hence why I feel like I'm just wearing the same things over again. But this is really nice. This is women's wear. I think I showed it to you earlier um, and I wore it the wrong way around but this is how it's actually meant to be worn this is how it looks this is the two-piece got the top as well as the matching leggings women's wear um i'm feeling a lot fluffier than usual but i think it still looks good it still looks really really good i need to walk i need to carry on walking but my ribs just need to give me a break final look earrings Natural face, cute face. So let's go and get these ingredients and let's bake this damn keto chocolate cake. Okay, quickly gonna jump on this meeting first. I almost forgot about this. Let me hop in this corn and then we can bake after. Your girl is now consulting for brands. Hi, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hi guys. Hi. Some quick intros um, before we kick off will be helpful. Sure. Um, you know, without being biased, that's all the great stuff we want to hear, but really just that sweet spot between what the brand wants and what your audience want to see is a message that we're really trying to get, get through to the people that we're working with, you know. Ooh done with a call, a very successful call. Um, as I said earlier, your girl is consulting and I am so, so glad that I have finally, in fact, I just kind of, you know, like I kind of fell into this bag, but I'm quite good at it. I've come to realize that I'm a, okay, I knew that I was a confident speaker. Sometimes I do get in and over my head, but when I'm relaxed, I know what I'm talking about. I'm very confident in what I'm saying. So consulting is absolutely my bag. And I also have a great background in that. I used to work for an agency. So I've worked in agency in-house trying to build campaigns, trying to manage campaigns, and then also now being a creator myself where I actually execute campaigns. I've got kind of knowledge on both sides of the Queens and it's kind of what's helped me to be able to do this full time and to be able to do it to the to the extent that I do. And I guess the value and the rates that they've got up charging is because I am completely aware of my value in the industry. And not only that, but I'm also aware of the value of the knowledge that I have of the industry. And so that is what I'm kind of monetizing now as consultancy, consultancy work. Um, so I have this call here with the pretty big agency and I don't know if I can say the brand, to be honest. The purpose of this consultation, the whole purpose of the meeting that I'm gonna be having with them is to basically advise the senior marketing leads on how to work with influencer. The influencer marketing space is quite a new one and not everyone knows how to best approach it. And so this is what I will be consulting them on. I, this is my this is my second one now. The first one that I, oh, my third one. My first gig was with Instagram, was for Instagram, consulting for Instagram. My second gig was for Facebook and then my third gig, but I'm very happy. So I'm glad that went well. So should we finally make that cake now? Because I've dragged this. I've dragged this over two vlogs, two vlogs. I need this chocolate cake. Let's do it. <laughs>
thinner, a lot thinner. It's bouncy. Let's let this cool. And then hopefully this tastes good. If it doesn't taste good, I'm gonna be so pissed off. So this is the Swiss roll and this is the cream that I've just made for it. I hope that this works out, man. I'm just gonna put the cream all over it and then try and roll it. Kind of like how it says on the website. So somebody wish me luck. I kind of wish I had more filling just to make it even more creamy. And then now I'm just gonna roll. Hopefully it should unstick and roll. I pray this works. <laughs> All right. Not a Swiss roll. <laughs> no way. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, the one on the internet definitely looks a lot prettier. Let me try cutting the edge off so that it's nice and neat. Like this picture. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, this side is better. Okay, let's get rid of this. Ooh. Okay, taste test. First of all, it's very spongy. Tick. I'm so nervous. I hope it's actually sweet. Stays together like a Swiss roll. Mmm. Mmm. Do you know what? The filling absolutely makes it. The filling absolutely makes it. The brown pass doesn't really have much of a taste per se, but the pastry is sweet. The sweet, fluffy, and light. But the filling, the filling actually makes it. Who'd have thunk it? The next thing is just to transfer the remaining ingredients into these containers. This is how I organize my pantry. If you missed the video where I show you guys how I label and organize my own pantry, click on this link here to go and watch the video after this one, of course. Um, I make these custom DIY labels, which just look super snazzy and cool and they're like branded for my home. Lydia didn't go home. If you're not following yet, so yeah. Um, that one's done. I've only got one more availability left, one more space. But the only thing, the catch is, this tin here is about one kg. Um, but <laughs> my options, this one is 500 mils and this one is two, two kgs. So I don't really know what to do. But um, I'll put the sugar. Yeah, I'll put the sugar replacement in here because that's more like to be used quicker. Wait, what? It fits. I don't understand. I don't understand physics. I don't understand physics. This is how when <laughs> Bissy and I were baking that cake, we nearly got the cake so wrong. I don't understand physics. Guys, can somebody please explain to me why this, sorry, I don't get it. Is it because this is super thin? This is one kilo less than, and this is two kilos. Mathematicians, what's up? <laughs> I don't get it. Is it is it the density? Is it is it mass density? I know someone will give me a calculation. I need to. I mean, now I need to make labels. And I don't understand sugar. Sugar and science blows my mind. Anyway, that's done. All I need to do is now get a small one for this. So let's go and see what other space I can make. But that's pretty much it. Feeling very productive. Hmm. What a great day today. Smashing it, literally just smashing it. One goes there and then the next one goes here. I just need to be able to make, I need to make the labels for them here so that we don't forget what they are. That looks so neat and perfect. I love my pantry, it's so cute. If you wanna see the rest of my pantry and how I made these labels, click on this video up here. Good morning guys, morning super early in the morning well it's early enough in the morning for me i'm just getting ready to pop out it is 8 55 i have a blood test at 9 30 9 35 um so i've got to head out i'm gonna go and um go to this appointment and then yeah we can come back and talk i'll let you know what i'm gonna get my blood tested for when i'm back but first let me go and get there she left seven minutes ago. So 
let's go get this blood taken i'm gonna carry my form you have to take the form with you last time i went to get my blood taken i forgot this and they sent me back and i had to wait another three weeks so i get the form um headphones and we move good afternoon guys good afternoon it is 5 22 in the afternoon we smoked last in the morning at 9 30 a.m when i was going for my blood test and i haven't done much since then like i've literally just been chilling catching up on work nothing crazy at the moment i am fixing um i'm about to install my security system which i'm so excited to do it's one of those ones where you can do it by yourself though the reason why i'm even vlogging is because i came to tell you guys the catch so <laughs> tyrone is coming around this evening because he is going to look through a few things for example i have chipped my floor um i dropped i think the ladder there and it's just dented into this beautiful floor um i know that tyrone is good at fixing flooring so i'm gonna ask him to have a look at it to see if he can fix it also my bathroom flush let me go and show you my bathroom flush wasn't flushing the way it really used to um and then i opened the back of it to find that something has detached like one of the pieces was detached oh tyron is that you it's you you just set up my, my <laughs> It's Tyrone, I heard him. Let's go downstairs. But anyway, ooh, what I was gonna say, before he comes, he doesn't know that he's going to be helping me fix the siren for my boundary, for my security system. He doesn't know. Let's go. You better call Tyrone. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my god, the place is home! <laughs> How is it? The place is home! Up the stairs! Thank you. you see, girl? How are you? How are you? How's your sides? I don't want to shake your eyes. I'm great. You my sides, it is moving, but it's not. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it me? Yeah, I see the TV on the wall. It's no! So far. Well. Stairs, obviously. Like, he was waiting for the runner still. Let me give you the tour I, of the house. The chairs. <laughs> is that your, you worked it in. What's this? Yo, oh, your yeah, table. yeah, yeah, of course. Come on, I thought, let that That's go. Adrian's table, let's be honest. Look, <laughs> 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 Adrian's table. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? You're the one who I love it. I, li I live here. Like, I absolutely love it. Anything you would have done different or changed or? Speakers in the, in the, in the like you said. Speakers I'm in the. Glad she said like I said. Yeah, he I'm said. Glad she said like I said. Like you said, Tyrone okay. said so many times. Put speakers. Put speakers. It could still be done. It's the speakers that I regret. Still find a way to make it work, but you can use Sonos and. Also behind you, I regret the microwave. I tell, did I tell you that? No. You know this microwave doesn't pop my popcorn. What do you mean don't pop your popcorn? Because it, it doesn't spin. Because the so microwave. Popcorn don't pop unless it spins. Yeah, well, that's what you I found. Put a spin here, one of them alloys, some small alloys, and just spin that wheel, and <laughs> let that thing go. Yeah, that's it. It doesn't pop my popcorn, that's it. I didn't know. Popcorn had to spin to pop. That's what we know every day. So Tyrone has been and gone. It was his first time actually seeing the place fully done since he helped me renovate it, which is so nice. Like, <laughs> I can't thank him enough times for all the work that he's done. I mean, I thanked him with a lot of money, we'll pay him, but it's always really, really nice seeing him and the boys. And in fact, I'm gonna have a dinner. I'm gonna host a dinner for my builders because we literally wouldn't have this house without them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what, I know, I forgot to catch up with you guys earlier regarding my blood test. So the reason why I went to get blood test is because if you follow me on Instagram, you already know, I said this in my stories, that um, I suffer really badly from night sweats and it's so random, it's something that has been happening of late to me. Like it will just randomly happen where at night I sweat tons and when i say tons i mean like i have to come out of the bed i have to lay down a towel and then sleep and then sometimes i even have to like flip my duvet around just because that's how wet it gets like it's not great at all and i can't figure it out literally can't figure it out and it's been happening for months and i don't know what it's linked to i also asked <laughs> also asked my stories this a few weeks back um and this 
well, these are a few of the responses that you guys shared. This is not like a new thing. Some people have also been struggling with it. Um, I'm really keen to always share things that I'm going through that I feel like other people would be probably going through and then we figure it out together. There's no point in all of us suffering because if I'm gonna suffer, let me at least suffer for, on a, all of our behalfs, you know? Yeah, so the blood tests are basically going to check my thyroid, I think that's what the doctor said. They're gonna check my thyroid to see if I've got a um, overactive thyroid or maybe even underactive, I don't know. It's just gonna, they're gonna check my thyroid. So that's, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, but besides that, I have steps to make. I have like 5K more steps to make and I need to finish setting up my security system. The rest of it is super easy. The only bit that I needed um, help with was the drill. And I'm so glad that Tyrone was coming by today anyway. So it's literally just worked out. Out. So Tyron has basically drilled the pilot holes for the outdoor siren um, and then I'm just going to fix it once once I'm actually ready to fix it. You need to do some bits on the app and stuff. And he has of course solved, solved the problem super quick. It was just, there was something wrong with the internals but this is completely fine now. Oh, you better call Tyrone. So that's gonna be my evening. I'm gonna fix my security and then go and finish my walk and call it an evening. I hope you guys have found this interesting. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog with me. Let me know what kind of content you guys enjoy seeing from my channel. Is it like the sit down videos? Is it the vlogs? What do you enjoy watching, you know? Cause I make this stuff, not just for me, because I really do enjoy my own vlogs, but I also make it for you guys to enjoy, you know? Until next time, guys, I'm gonna have to love you and leave you. And thank you so much for tuning in for another vlog. And I shall see you in my next one. Bye, guys.